Hey guys, I'm Pat Kelly. In this problem, we're asked to uh, use the graph of the function to determine if the function is even, odd, or neither. And then we're also going to verify our results algebraically. All right, so for this problem, the function is secant of x. And part of our lesson here is that we know what the graph of secant of x looks like. Okay, that's our graph. And if we're going to use that graph to determine if the function is even, odd, or neither, what we're looking for is symmetry or lack of symmetry. If it's going to be even, if the function's even, the graph is symmetric about the y-axis. So that means you'd be picturing the y-axis as if it were a mirror. And is everything that's going on on the left the same as what's going on on the right, if I pointed correctly? Whatever's going on on the left, is that the same thing that's going on on the right? Okay. If so, that's going to be even. If you look at ours, that's exactly the case here. My y-axis does actually act like a mirror, and everything that's going on over here on the left is also going on over here on the right. The graph is telling me that this function is even. Now, it's not the case in this problem, but your thought process for the other problems could be, um, well, I may not have that symmetry along the y-axis, but if a function is going to be odd, you're looking for symmetry about the origin. So right at the origin, a little bit tougher to see, but does the graph look exactly the same if I put a little bit of a pin at the origin and then spin the entire graph 180 degrees? If you spin it 180 degrees and it doesn't look any different, that's symmetry about the origin, and your answer would be that f of x is odd. If you check both of those symmetries and don't get anything, then my answer is neither. Even, odd, or neither. Okay, ours is even. Now we're going to verify that algebraically. Algebraically, your definition for the function being even is that f of a negative x equals f of x. Again, that's the definition of being even. So for us, we're actually going to try to see if that's true. Let's make that a question mark. Our f of x, right there, I'm going to go ahead and put a minus x in there as the argument. So for our f of x, we're actually asking is the secant of minus x equal to, uh, on the right side of the equal sign, just regular old f of x. So my f of x is secant of x. And I'll still pose that as a question. Then what I'm going to do is a little bit of trigonometric manipulation, and it's uh, not as difficult as it sounds. It sounds more impressive. My manipulation is going to be to recognize that secant is 1 over cosine. So in this case, 1 over cosine of minus x. On the right-hand side, 1 over cosine of x. Same rewrite, still asking if that equals. And now what I'll do to answer that question mark is maybe even do a cross multiply. If I cross multiply, I'll get cosine of x equals cosine of minus x. Still as a question mark, though, is that true? And that is true. That's one of the identities that you learned in this lesson, the cosine of x does equal the cosine of minus x. So that is confirmed. Okay, hope that helps. Try some on your own.